What is up you guys? It's your boy Mike from Balls of Fury. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to give you guys a full collection tour. We're going to go through both these snakes racks and show you guys every single snake that we have in the collection. We're also going to travel down to Florida where Darius and Dre are going to show you their snakes. And we're going to travel to Alabama where AJ has his snakes so you guys can check out a complete BOF tour. Let's get started with the grow out rack. Now, this right over here is our grow out rack. These are for our snakes that are not quite ready yet to go into the adult rack system. We'll start right over here with our girl Dose. Now, this was one of our holdbacks from last year. She is absolutely gorgeous. And it actually looks like she's going into shed soon. Her colors are a little bit dull. But this is Dose right here. She is a cinnamon pinstripe. 100% het piebald and I really love the interaction of the cinnamon and pinstripe gene you get all that broken pattern on the side and look at how clean and beautiful this girl's dorsal stripe is I mean she's got a complete stripe down her back which is really really cool she's absolutely beautiful and I was really happy with producing her last season the goal with this animal is to produce eventually a pinstripe panda pied which is a pinstripe super cinnamon piebald ball python and it should be a black and white snake which will be really really cool over in this tub we have our beautiful girl lila and this is one of my favorite snakes i actually purchased this snake back in november of last year shout out to mike wilbanks he's who i purchased her from and this is lila right here she is a pastel cypress lavender albino and i mean the interaction these three genes have together is absolutely gorgeous look at how bright the cypress made the pattern along the sides and then you get all that cool dorsal striping from the cypress as well pastels brightening the colors a little bit and then obviously lavender albino is causing the lavender orange and yellow coloration as well but she is absolutely gorgeous really really love this girl and she's getting big you guys so that is our girl lila go ahead and put her back i really can't wait till she gets up to breeding size because i got some really cool plans for that girl in the future down over in this tub we have another beautiful snake that i bought at the same time as lila she also came from mike wilbanks this is our girl Jade. Let me see if I can find her. Here is this girl Jade right here. And I've showed her off in a lot of videos, you guys. So this is Jade. She is a Mojave Starburst Ball Python. And so she is expressing Mojave, Enchi, Leopard, and Lavender Albino. Such an amazing interaction. And look how pink this girl is. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. But this girl is literally pink, and she's getting more and more pink with each shed, which is really, really cool. Go ahead and put her back and move on to the next snake. Now, the next snake we're going to take a look at is actually not growing out. But before I had bought this rack system, I was keeping the majority of the snakes in this style of rack system with these style tubs. However, this girl right here that we're going to take a look at is indeed gravid so she is getting ready to lay a clutch of eggs very soon and when she lays her eggs we're going to upgrade her into there but this is our girl mona lisa she is a hypo ghi spider ball python and as you guys can see i mean look at how thick this girl is getting she already ovulated so we should be getting a clutch from her possibly any day now so I'm gonna go ahead and let her relax but the reason I'm keeping her in this tub is because when she lays that clutch I want to put her into a brand new fresh tub to get rid of the smell of the eggs because if I leave the eggs with her or if I don't wash her in this tub thoroughly it still will have the egg scent in it and I may not be able to get her back to eating because this girl, believe it or not, has not eaten food in the last month or two because she is indeed gravid, also known as pregnant for you guys who are not snake breeders or keepers and aren't familiar with that term. So that's our girl Mona Lisa. Once she lays those eggs, she's going to be joining the rest of the adults in that rack system 
And then down below here, we have another holdback from our production last season. This guy is awesome. His name is Metro. It's actually out right now. This is our guy Metro right here. He is a leopard clown ball python, and he is also 100% het for albino. Really cool little clown ball python. These guys were the first clutch of clown ball pythons I ever produced. So really cool to get some clown combos in our first season breeding last year. And I really love the spotting the leopard brings in along the sides. And check out that cool dorsal stripe. Leopard is really known for striping stuff out and creating wacky patterns. But in the clown, it kind of reduces the pattern a little bit. So taking this a step forward, I definitely want to add some pattern back into there. Because I really like the clowns to have some crazy patterns you guys but that's our boy metro and then last but not least on the grow out rack we have our beautiful boy takeoff and he is definitely one of my favorites over here at balls of fury let's check him out i actually picked this guy up back in october of last year got him from chimera reptiles shout out to chimera reptiles they're really, really cool. And check out this guy, Takeoff. He is absolutely amazing. What a brilliant looking snake. And I mean, he's getting big, you guys, getting thick. Look at that orange coloration. And this guy is actually a blackhead red gene dreamsicle. So he's blackhead, red gene, lavender, albino, and pied. And I mean, look at how stunning he is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, you guys, but he is literally not white. He is straight up purple. And then we have this beautiful orange coloration. And he, believe it or not, guys, he is a no white pied. He's so low white that he literally is just covered in pattern. I mean, look at that freaking flaming along the side. So cool. But that's our boy Takeoff. I can't wait to get this guy into the breeding rotation. We've got some amazing powerhouse females that are going to be going to this boy so that's takeoff right there he is doing awesome and now we're going to move to the adult snake rack let me put takeoff back in his cage and then part of the tour we got my guy mateo over there too the little monkey we got the banner you guys and now we're over to the adult snake rack so we're going to start with showing you guys just stuff that I'm keeping in this rack. Some of the stuff that is not labeled is stuff that is for sale. So go check out our Morph Market if you guys are interested in picking up a new snake. But I guess we'll start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. So the first guy we got right over here is my boy Smoke. He is a cinnamon piebald ball python. He's actually a proven breeder, and he is the father of the snake dose that we showed you guys first. Um, he's not breeding for us this year. He's taking the year off and is just our backup male for our pied project. But I love the cinnamon pied interaction. And if you guys like high white pieds, put cinnamon into your pieds because it makes them super high white. But that's our boy Smoke, the cinnamon pied. Go ahead and put him back. He's looking fantastic. And then over here, we've got another favorite of mine and a fan favorite. I know a lot of you guys like this boy. This is my guy, Drake, right here. Drake is a fire, yellow belly, spot nose, clown ball python. Super powerhouse right here. And he's been breeding with a few different females. And one of his girlfriends is actually gravid, which is really cool. But I love the interaction of fire, yellow belly, and spot nose in the clown. I mean, look at the rusty orange flaming we get from the yellow belly. The spot nose and fire are brightening that pattern. The spot nose is also making the pattern super, super crazy. And then you got that beautiful, cute clown face, you guys. Love my boy Drake. He's doing absolutely awesome. And he's been breeding like a champion, man. He's been getting to work with those ladies. Let me tell you that. And then right over here, you guys, we have an, the ultimate stud. He's got to be, if not number one, number two for me as my favorite over here at Balls of Fury. You guys have seen him plenty of times. I don't really got to give him an introduction, but you guys know my boy Future right over here. I mean, look at how ridiculous this boy is. He is a pastel, super enchy, super asphalt lavender albino and you want to talk about a powerhouse male 
Future is your guy. I mean, look at the pattern from the Super Asphalt and Super Enchi influence. I mean, just crazy pattern. My my goal with this project is to add a little bit more contrast to it so that pattern pops even more. But I mean, dude, this guy is literally pink, orange, yellow, just absolutely gorgeous. I love Future. And you can really see how pink he is along his neck. That's where it's mostly pink, but... I mean, when this guy goes into shed, he looks crazy, but Future's doing awesome. He's getting nice and big, and he has also been pairing up with a female, and he's been doing an awesome job. We've been getting some locks with them, and the girl is building some follicles, so I'm really, really excited for that. And then this guy is for sale. This is already sold. Let's go ahead and move over here. This is our clown ball python. This is king. And he is actually the father of the boy Metro I showed you guys that we held back. He is a proven breeder. He's also going to be fathering another clutch that we uh, paired up this year. We'll show you the girl that's gravid from him. But another cool and kind of crazy thing about this guy is if you notice with his eyes, they are really, really small compared to all the other snakes we showed. He was actually born with abnormally small eyes and is completely blind. If you look at his eyes, you can see that they almost look like white. Those are actually cataracts. He is completely blind, and he's been blind since the day I bought him as a hatchling. And as you guys can see, that didn't stop him. He's nice and big, he's been breeding, and it is not an inherent trait. All of his babies came out with normal sized eyes, no deformities, nothing like that. So this guy is safe to breed and he's been doing absolutely fantastic, but he's just a visual clown ball python. Go ahead and put King back. Next up, we have another one of our breeder males over here. This is my boy Reaper. He is a leopard, yellow belly, double het hypo, piebald. So this guy has been breeding to a couple different girls. That girl Mona Lisa that we showed you, the Hypo GHI Spider, was bred to this guy. So he should be becoming a dad pretty soon once she drops those eggs and we hatch out those babies. But the Leopard and Yellow Belly are such a cool combination together. The Leopard, you can really see what it does to the pattern of the snake. And then the Yellow Belly is giving it all this beautiful flaming coming up the sides. And uh, Leopard, guys, is one of the best aging genes. As you can see, those darker ball python morphs really hold their color well. And this guy has aged wonderfully. Such an amazing snake. And uh, we actually purchased this guy. Purchased this guy as a hatchling from Justin Kabelka of Canova. Shout out to Canova. But that's the boy Reaper right there. Go ahead and put him back. And then right over here, we have a beautiful little female. This is my girl, Peach. She is a banana pied. Really, really gorgeous. The banana gene is an awesome incomplete dominant gene that causes a yellow and purple coloration as they are younger. As you guys can see, she's starting to turn to more of like a purple or actually an orange and uh, like gray color, which is really cool. But I love this girl. And the cool thing about having banana in a female is that banana is a sex linked gene. So anything that this girl produces that is a banana should be a female and if she does produce a male, that male will be a female maker, which is really cool. But this is our girl, Peach, the banana pied. And we got to go ahead and maintain her cage because you can see she went to the bathroom. So we'll go ahead and clean that out once we finish filming here. But that is our girl, Peach, doing absolutely awesome and looking absolutely beautiful. And as we move down the rack, we've got our beautiful Batman ball python right here. Her name is Batgirl, I know, real creative, but this is Batgirl right here. She's looking absolutely phenomenal. Now, the Batman mutation is a leopard spot nose clown. And as you guys can see, look at how crazy the leopard and the spot nose make the pattern. I mean, just freaking ridiculous, you guys. And like I told you, the leopard is an awesome aging gene. Look at how well and how dark those blacks have held up as this girl has continued to grow and age. I'm hoping to get this girl up to size to breeding next year. She's doing really, really well. Finally eating really consistently. 
she has been one of our biggest problem feeders but now that i have her in the rack system she's been eating like a beast so i'm really happy about that go over to this girl over here this is our girl zanny and she is a lavender albino that is 100 percent het for VPI Azanthic. She is a proven breeder. She produced a clutch of five eggs for us last year, and we were able to hit our first lavender VPI Azanthic from this girl, which is freaking awesome. She did an excellent job, and she's actually been pairing up with our boy Drake that we showed you, so we're really hoping to make some really cool double het alb uh, lavender albino clown combos, which will be awesome, but she looks absolutely fabulous. Lavender albino, guys, one of the best aging mutations in ball pythons. I mean, look at the color on this girl. She has held the color so well. You have that beautiful purple lavender coming in, and then you have the yellow tones. And this girl is even a little bit more lighter and faded out because I definitely believe that the Het VPI Azanthic is influencing the color of that snake because I've seen lavender albinos without Het VPI Azanthic, and they look totally different. And then next up over here, we have the first Dreamsicle that I ever got in the collection. This is our girl Diamond, and she is aging so wonderfully. I mean, absolutely gorgeous looking snake here. And you guys got to know we love the Dreamsicle over here at Balls of Fury. This is her right here. She's a little bit dirty, but... She is a lavender albino pied, and look, you guys can see the lavender is starting to come in within her pattern and her saddles, and you can really see it well on her dirty little head, but she's doing awesome. She's getting really big. She's definitely going to be up to breeding size next year, so I'm really excited to get this girl paired up and make some awesome dreamsicle combos. Go ahead and put Diamond back. Go ahead and move on to the next snake. So I know I told you guys that Future is my number one or number two favorite. This girl is the one that is definitely rivaling him. She's definitely up there in my top two or three. Go ahead and check her out. This is my beautiful girl, Nova. She is a Confusion Starburst Ball Python. So what we are looking at here is Confusion Enchi leopard and lavender and i mean look at the influence of all three of those genes they are all pattern altering mutations and they basically just made this really cool like banded pattern and then you get all like these polka dots all over the snake that are turning orange and pink really really beautiful and this girl just has like a, a lime electric yellow color just an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous snake I can't wait to get this girl up to breeding size, you guys. She's going to produce some insane babies. But that's that girl, Nova. Shout out to JK from Canova. He hooked us up with that beautiful girl. Let's go ahead and move on to the next beautiful girl in this rack. Oh, my God. This girl's looking stunning, man. She's looking bright today. This is our girl, Ferrari. She is an orange dream, and she freeway pied and i mean just a powerhouse female she's looking absolutely gorgeous i really love the pixelated look along the edges of the saddles that's a direct influence of the yellow belly and asphalt gene the yellow belly and asphalt gene when they come together we call it a freeway because it is an allelic combination and then the orange dream and enchi are just making the color super bright and this girl is aging so so well i mean she looks absolutely gorgeous and again shout out to jkr of canova he is who i got this beautiful girl from when she was a hatchling um as you guys can tell i got a lot of snakes from canova <laughs> and then over here we have our beautiful hypo clown ball python right here she is gorgeous Look at the patterning on this girl. Now, I know in the past I told you guys that we were thinking she was a hurricane hypo clown, but unfortunately with genetic testing and the shed testing, it was proven that she is not carrying the hurricane gene. I'm not really sure what's influencing this crazy pattern and look. Maybe there's something else going on or maybe a new gene. We'll just have to wait and find out and breed her out, which will be really cool to see. But she's doing really good. She's getting nice and big and thick. And I mean, dude, just look at the pattern. I mean, 
I don't understand what's causing that, but it's freaking crazy. And she's aging really nicely, you guys. Another amazing gene that ages nicely is the hypo gene. And moving on over to the next girl. This is a beautiful snake right here. One of my favorite dreamsicle combos for sure. This is Gucci, our yellow belly dream skull. And you guys, if you scroll back to our regular dream skull, you can see the difference in the color of these two snakes. The yellow belly brightens the color so, so much, you guys. I mean, it's just a different shade of yellow and orange. And she is aging phenomenally. I mean, you can't go wrong with lavender albino or pied. They age absolutely wonderfully especially the lavender albino you guys but that's gucci the yellow belly pie and i got both gucci and the hypo clown from my guy matt lee exotics he's out of massachusetts and he's working with some really cool snakes so if you guys have never heard of him go check him out matt lee exotics he's got some banger animals and then down here we have another beautiful female this is our girl Versace right here. She is a yellow belly piebald ball python. And guys, yellow belly is one of the best genes that you can incorporate into piebald. Like I said, it gives all those jagged pixelated edges to the saddles where it meets the white. I mean, just look at the contrast of this snake. You got the dark blacks and orange up against that white. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then as a baby, she didn't have these little black freckles. Those kind of came in over time, which is really, really cool. Got another one over here, looks like a little heart. And then she's just gorgeous. I picked this girl up from a reptile expo and I can't remember the name of the breeder or the seller I bought her from, but she is absolutely gorgeous, getting really, really big. Can't wait to get her paired up soon. And then right here, we have one of Drake's girlfriends. This girl is actually gravid, and I don't really want to pick her up. Uh, we'll show you guys, just so you can see. But look at this girl. This is a banana clown ball python. And look at how thick and swollen she is, you guys. Those are eggs in there. She's going to be laying a clutch of eggs for us probably in the next 50 to 40 days. Really, really cool. She just ovulated and is still kind of in the ovulation, as you guys can see. But soon she will be going into her pre-lay shed and she will be dropping those eggs, and Drake did sire this clutch, so it's going to be a really awesome clutch, going to be so many cool combos, but that's Jordan, our banana clown, we got this girl from Mike Wilbanks, so shout out to Mike Wilbanks, up next, we have another beautiful girl right here, and it looks like she's actually starting to go into shed, this is Aria, she is an albino clown ball python. She's been pairing up with our boy Drake as well. She's still eating food and whatnot and still building follicles. So she's not quite at the ovulation yet. But I'm hoping she goes for us. Um, she is also 66% het for VPI Azanthic. And I think she's going to prove out. This is definitely another snake that we need to get shed tested soon. But that's our girl Aria, the albino clown. Go ahead and put her back. And then over here, we have Future's girlfriend. Oof, it's kind of tight in there. She is all sorts of bundled up in here. But this is Future's girlfriend. This is our girl, Bangle. And she is a pastel orange dream yellow belly ball python and this girl has aged really nicely i mean she's a little bit dirty on the top but if you look at that side pattern i mean that orange is just bright and clean one thing i love about the orange dream is that it really brightens color and is one of the best enhancing genes but that is our girl bangle the pastel orange dream yellow belly ball python i picked this girl up from breeder circle shout out to them She's doing awesome, and her and Future have been locking up, which is really exciting. I'm hoping to make some freeway stuff that is 100% het for lavender albino. So now we're going to go down to the bottom rack. We're going to check out this girl. She's getting thick, you guys. So this right here is our girl Magic. She is an orange dream, and she hypo ball python. And if you guys couldn't tell... I really like Orange Dream and Enchi. A lot of our snakes have it. But this girl has been pairing up with that boy Reaper I showed you guys earlier. And like I said, you guys, Hypo is one of the best aging mutations. 
And it's crazy how much Enchi and Orange Dream affected the color of this when they come together with Hypo. She almost looks like an Ultra Mel, but she is indeed a Hypo, and she's doing really well. Been locking up with Reaper. She's still been eating like a beast, so she's been building, getting ready. Her follicles have been growing, so it's really, really exciting. And then over here, we have a beautiful girl. She is Dior. And she is a pastel, orange dream, yellow belly, piebald ball python. I know it's a mouthful to say, and this girl is Jean Stacked. And if you guys like low white pieds, and she is an awesome Jean to put in the pied because it makes them super low white. But this girl is gorgeous. I mean, look at how nicely she's aged. And again, that similar effect as Bangle with the pastel and orange dream. It's dirty up top, but along the sides, you get that clean orange look. Very beautiful powerhouse snake. And this girl's actually been on a food strike for about six weeks. I think she wants to breed, honestly. But the male takeoff that we plan to put to her, he's not quite up to size yet. So I think next week I'm going to try to feed her an ASF and see if I can get her back onto food. I've been offering live rats, but she hasn't had any interest and she was eating like a beast. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys an update if she takes that ASF. We'll go ahead and put her back. And then over here, we have this big girl. She's gorgeous. This is our girl, Chachi. She is a leopard albino, 100% het for clown. And she is a proven breeder as well. She was the mother of our holdback Metro, the leopard clown, 100% het albino. And look at how nicely, again, the leopard helped this thing age. I mean, usually albinos are really, really light and it's tough to see the contrast. But I mean, you can clearly see she held that weight really well. And the reason for that is the leopard because the leopard where the black would be, it's white on an albino and the leopard just really increases the contrast of it. So really beautiful snake and she's doing awesome. And last but not least, we have our girl Blade right here. And this girl just finished going through her ovulation. As you guys can see, she is nesting. But look at this big beefy girl. This is our girl Blade. She is a mystic potion ball python and she was bred to our boy king the clown ball python but she looks absolutely gorgeous and is doing fantastic i can't wait for her to drop her clutches of eggs and believe it or not guys this girl is four and a half years old and this will be her first time producing eggs for me i tried pairing her last year and for whatever reason she reabsorbed and didn't end up wanting to go for us so that just goes to show you guys that these snakes the females they know when they're ready to go, and they're going to go when they choose to. So you need to be patient with them sometimes. But I can't wait for this girl to lay her clutch of eggs. It's going to be really awesome. But that is Blade, and that wraps it up for the adult wrap. We just have one more baby to show you guys, and it's another holdback. We're going to come over to this side of the room. This is where I keep all of the hatchlings for now until I get that hatchling wrap. These guys are for sale on Morph Market, so go check them out. But this is our other holdback from last season, and she is gorgeous. Many of you guys have already seen her before, but this is Ice Spice right here, the Lavender Albino VPI Azanthic. So freaking gorgeous, man, and she's aging wonderfully. She's putting on some weight, and I really, really love the way this snake looks. I wasn't a huge fan of the Lavender Azanthic project until I hatched out this beautiful snake, and let me tell you guys, there is definitely some potential for this project in the future. And that's going to wrap it up for what I have over here at Balls of Fury. Let's take a trip down to Jacksonville and check out what Darius has. All right, you guys. If you guys have been following me, you know who this boy is right here. This is our star stud male. That boy YBA. And as you can see, he in here chilling. He locked earlier this week with Lala. Our spider lavender 100% hip highballed female. This will be, I think, their third lock, I believe. Third or fourth lock, I believe. Yeah, me and Mikey, we kind of do our pairings a little bit different than the majority of people in the industry. But, hey, 
has been working for us so far, so we're going to stick to it. This boy again, he's a cinnamon, inchy, lavender albino, now 100% hip pie due to RGI genetic shed testing, so we're very, very excited for him. Who we got here? It's that boy Ocho, yes sir. This is that super inchy desert ghost boy. He's almost up to size. I know you guys can see that little bit of Paradox coming in right there. Shout out to Fireball. You know, I think this is our second pickup from Fireball. We will be looking at you, out for you guys again this year. You know, you can't really go wrong with DG. He's looking good. We plan on playing him to our girl, Kobe. And she is a pastel OD butter het desert ghost girl. We're very, very excited. He just posted up. Shout out to him. That boy Louis V. Looking, looking good. He actually paired earlier this week with our girl Chanel. And again, he's a super inchy banana piebald male pause leopard, which we think he has. You know, just all that darkening and that pattern. I've been looking on Morph Market to kind of compare. And I think he looks very similar. So, you know, hopefully he'll prove out this clutch and, you know, help give us some kind of determination about that we paired him with chanel who will show you shortly our albino pied female and boy looking good he's about 700 grams right now i'd say 750 all right you guys you know we got my baby girl ruby rose shout out to the real ruby rose even though this one's in shit right now she looking real good She's also 50% hat pie ball as well. I don't know um, if in the future we're going to do genetic testing for her as well. We've been getting opinions from people who we know are working with Red Stripe Lab. And basically what they're saying is it's kind of hard to identify in the dreamsicle form and stuff like that. So we might hold off on a few years and, you know, maybe come back to it. It just depends. But she's looking good, starting to gain a little bit of weight. She's like 300, 400 grams. I need to put a little bit more focus into her. But, you know, she's been doing her thing. You can see the little wrinkles she about to shed. So I'm going to make sure she gets a good misting. And hopefully she'll eat before she goes in the shed. If not, no biggie. Boom, my girl Kobe. This right here, that's Ocho girlfriend. Remember the pastel OD butter Pet Desert Ghost, she looking real good. She actually looks like she might be going in the shed soon. All those dark speckles, really, once she sheds, it's all pretty clean. She's doing her thing. She ready to eat. She like, hold up, where's my water? Don't worry, I'm finna get you some new water and let you eat, I promise. But yeah, she's looking good. She probably about 1,400 grams right now. She ready. I know, booby. I know. That girl Onyx looking too good right now. What is up? She is a fire, azanthic, VPI, female. Calm down, booby. I know. Looking good, man. She's about 1,400 grams as well. We're still waiting to decide where we're going to put to her. Shout out to my boy AJ. He just copped him a VPI Xanthic Pied female. So we're starting to grow that VPI Xanthic gene in our collection. We're very, very excited about that project. Um, you guys down in the comments, let me know. Should I go VPI Xanthic Clown or VPI Xanthic Hypo? What are you guys thinking? We're trying to switch it up. Chanel, what's up, girl? Oh yeah, she looking good too, you guys. Her and LV paired up earlier this week. You know, she just chilling, doing her thing, getting ready for that meal, nice and beautiful. Man, look at all that pixelation along the side of those emojis. She's killing it. I'm just very, very excited. Ah, oh, you guys, you see that scar right there? That's from live feeding. If I can find the video, I'll post it right here so that way you can kind of see what happened. But you see that scar, man? That's the beautiful thing about ball pythons. They can pretty much, you know, adapt to anything. They're very resilient creatures, and that's why Chanel's so dear to me. She was the first snake I really had to trials and tribulations with, and I learned a lot of my stuff. There you go, booby. 
Well, here's our girl Yuri. She, she trying to get out because she already smells them rats. Our OD Lavender 100% head pod. And my boy Gohan in there. But she, she like she about to get out. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek of these guys. They're not locked up, but hopefully by later she will be. Boom. Last but not least, my baby girl Flame. This right here, guys, is just a lavender albino female. Um, she's supposed to be 66% head. VPI Xanthic, but I mean, you know, with all that orange blushing going on in there. Man, she just looks phenomenal. Kind of looks like an OD or like maybe a little inchy come in. I don't really know, man, but honestly, she's kind of grown to be my favorite in such a short amount of time. She just looks so good. I've actually decided to save her for my son, Jeter. Hopefully he'll be able, or excuse me, not be able, but want to get into the game and we gonna start him off on the right foot. Looking too good. That's just crazy. Look at that pattern. What's going on? That's really crazy just for a regular lavender. Okay, I'm backing up. Dang. Hey everybody, AJ here in Alabama. I have two amazing snakes that I want to show off for the Balls of Fury Ball Python collection. Uh, so let's just dive right into it. Landon, come in close here. So first we have Luna. Luna is a blue-eyed blue cystic. She is a super butter het for G-stripe. She's about 1,400 grams right now, about to be pushing 15. It's absolutely gorgeous. She, had, she crushed a meal yesterday. Uh, each time that she sheds, she just came out of shed. I need to clean this out a little bit, but we believe that once we pair her up with Ron in this next one that she will prove out to be uh, visual for the genetic stripe. So this is everyone's favorite. Everyone say hey to Luna and say goodbye to Luna. We're gonna put her back in. We're gonna let her get all cozy. And now to show you the boy here in Bama. The one, the only, Ronald. Or big Ron. So Ron here, he is a banana G-stripe. I actually just fed him a minute ago, so I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. I don't wanna chance him regurgitating, but He's a beautiful animal. I love the flaming on the side. I love banana and how it gives the speckles and the pattern. And he's really just an amazing animal. The, the stripe almost goes all the way down. Just has one little break right there. But I think pairing him with Luna is gonna make for a killer combo. And you know, we can't wait to put a little more size on him and we'll see how it goes. But all right, everybody, signing out here from Bama. This is AJ, we'll see you next time. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andres with Balls of Fury Ball Python and I am in Hollywood, Florida and the reason I'm making this video today is to pretty much educate you guys on what I have going on. Now, um, just last year I purchased a, a pair of snakes so I could start breeding and um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce you guys. I'll give you a little backstory on it. Uh, I have a female which is a normal ball python, it's het albino, het clown. Okay, and I have a male. He is a visual um, clown male, but he is het for albino. So um, definitely trying to start with uh, the clown project. Okay, but I'm also trying to get into this lavender albino project. Um, dealing with Darius and Mike, they pretty much educated me a lot on this project. And I've seen the potential for this project. So I'm going to jump into it a little bit. But mainly, I just love the clown project. And that's what I have here. I have two snakes. One's ASAP, which is the boy, and the female is Riri. I'm short for Rihanna. So um, they are a couple, right? Because they, they are going to hopefully breed soon. But um, let's get right into it. I'll show you what I have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have my female. She is a normal ball python. All righty then. She's in shed as we can tell, but she is getting real thick. Now this is a normal ball python. She is het for albino and het for clown. Um, I actually got her from Balls of Fury Ball Python. And as you can tell, yeah, she's really deep in shed. But wow, she, usually she's so clean, so clean, so bright, the colors. You can tell that albino is definitely in here. But um, she is going to be the powerhouse for me, all right? I'm trying to line some albino clowns. So as you know, my male is clown, okay? And this is a normal ball python head for albino and head for clown. So definitely trying to land some of those, um, well, at least one of them, that... Um, albino clown and and get into the albino project that way but uh my main project is going to be the clown project i just love the clown um it, it's so advanced already and i'm just trying to get it much more advanced definitely trying to add some other stuff and i'll talk a little more about it once i show you the male here my clown male but this is 
Riri, my normal ball python, het albino, het clown, and there she goes. Like I said, she's in shed, so we'll leave her alone. She was hissing a bit earlier, but um, let me show you my boy now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is ASAP, that clown I was talking about. Now, let me see if I can get him out here. Um, he was just chilling over the heat, but um, this is ASAP. He is the clown, and like I told you, I'm getting into that clown project. I love clowns, and definitely want to start with albino. I'm going to do a little bit of both, okay? I'm going to get into the albino project, and I'm definitely going to pursue that clown project. It is advanced, and I'm trying to get more advanced. I'm, I'm, I love this brown coloration, and just trying to brighten it up, okay? I might throw in some white sides. I want to get calico in here. I also want to get some super orange dream in here. Um, probably some high OD, but definitely want to have some white sides, some beautiful orange snakes with some dark social stripes and anything else I can get into this, right? A lot of cold doms are definitely going to keep keep browsing, definitely some confusion, maybe some scrambler, maybe just going to just fire this snake up and, and fire um the, the clown project up. And I'm just so enthusiastic because I see how much um advancements we can do i've seen how much the clown project has advanced throughout the years and it's still kind of growing and people are still kind of just throwing things in there i mean we went to the show we seen some shrapnel which was pretty cool um i'm still a little stuck on that but definitely some scrambler some confusion some orange dream some calico probably get some some nice bright white sides on here um i do like that that lace too that white lace trying to get it in here as well and just trying to make some amazing animals, man. I, I love this whole um, reptile community we're in, and I love how enthusiastic people are, and definitely I feel it. Um, like I said, I've been educated throughout the years by Mike, and um, man, these animals are just amazing. Look at him. Definitely got to get him some new hides. They're growing so fast. I've only had them for about seven months, and I think they're up to like about 350, and they've just been tearing rats up in here and, and i love it i love it that's one of the struggles i don't have to go through but um we'll leave him alone he's obviously trying to hide look at him he's peeking a bit but definitely that is my clown his name is asap the female is riri and we're working on some um, clown stuff but mainly i'm trying to land that albino clown and then hopefully go the clown direction and hopefully go an albino direction all right, thank you for joining. So that wraps up today's episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the collection. Shout out to Wolfpack Constrictors. He was the one who recommended we make this video and requested this video. So this one's for you. I love the way that our collection is built. We have some amazing snakes that we are working with, and I can't wait to start pairing them all up when they're ready to be paired. So exciting. I mean, Darius showed you guys the heat he has. AJ's coming in with some heat, and then we got Dre coming in with some heat too. The future is looking bright at Balls of Fury, and I'm really excited to see where these projects end up going in five years from now. It's going to be so freaking cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button as well, drop a comment, say what's up. Let me know what snake was your favorite in the entire collection as well. Smash that notification bell so you know when we're dropping a video. I will talk to everyone very, very soon. Shout out to the recessive gang. Peace.